the Coulomb Barrier, named after Coulomb's law, which is named after physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb, is the energy barrier due to electrostatic interaction that two nuclei need to overcome so they can get close enough to undergo a nuclear reaction. This energy barrier is given by the electrostatic potential energy where K is the Coulomb's constant equals 8.9876 times 109 nm squared c minus 2. Epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space. Q1, Q2 are the charges of the interacting particles. R is the interaction radius. A positive value of U is due to a repulsive force, so interacting particles are at higher energy levels as they get closer. A negative potential energy indicates a bound state. Coulomb's barrier increases with the atomic numbers of the colliding nuclei, where E is the elementary charge 1.602176.53 times 10 minus 19 C, and Z the corresponding atomic numbers. To overcome this barrier, nuclei have to collide at high velocities, so their kinetic energies drive them close enough for the strong interaction to take place and bind them together. According to the kinetic theory of gases, the temperature of a gas is just a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in that gas. For classical ideal gases the velocity distribution of the gas particles is given by Maxwell Boltzmann. From this distribution, the fraction of particles with a velocity high enough to overcome the Coulomb's barrier can be determined. In practice, temperatures needed to overcome Coulomb's barrier turn out to be smaller than expected due to quantum mechanical tunneling, as established by Gamo. The consideration of barrier penetration through tunneling and the speed distribution gives rise to a limited range of conditions where the fusion can take place, known as the gamma window. It was the absence of a Coulomb barrier for the neutron that enabled James Chadwick to discover the neutron.